Hello, I'm Jill at ingvid.com and today's lesson is on the pronunciation of the letter R. Okay, so this is in British English pronunciation. Um, in American and Canadian English, it's sometimes a little different um, where the R is pronounced in American and Canadian where it's not pronounced in British English in the UK. So I'm showing here the British English pronunciations and I'll, I'll mention when we come to it where it's different from American and Canadian. Okay, so this is sometimes confusing for people because sometimes the R is sounded, so r, 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 like that. Other times it's completely silent and you just get a vowel sound instead. Okay, so I've got several examples here to illustrate um, the different variations. So first of all, um, this section here above the line are all the words which are the, the R is pronounced and below the line where they're not pronounced, the R is not pronounced. So let's look at the top three first where the R is pronounced. So right at the beginning of a word, so a word like rain, red, run, and also you probably know that sometimes there's a, a word beginning WR, which is that you don't make the W sound, you just make the R sound. So it's right, wrong, like that. So to make the R sound at the beginning of a word, you have to push your mouth forward, r, 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 like that. So that's how to make the R sound. I know in some languages, the R sound is more at the back of the throat, um, but in English, British English, uh, it's right at the front of the mouth and you push your lips forward. So it's rain and red and run, right, wrong, okay? So that's words beginning with R. The R is sounded. Also, if the R is a second letter of the word following a consonant, okay? So with a B, bread, bread, and with a D, drink, and with an F, from, with a G, green, and with a P, prize. Okay, and there are other consonants as well. These are just a few examples. So the R has to be pronounced there in combination with the, the first letter, the consonant sound. So bread, drink, from, green, and prize. Okay, and it's still at the front of the mouth pushing your lips forward, okay? Right, and then that you can see the letter R is moving through the word. It's the beginning, then it's the second letter, and now it's more into the middle of the word. So with a word like current, current, it's, a dub it's spelt sometimes double R, sometimes one R, uh, but it's the same sound really. Uh, so current, the R falls on the second syllable, current, current. So the R is sounded there. And garage, garage, again, it's the second syllable, garage. Um, sorry, sorry, second syllable again, sorry. And very, very, second syllable, and 
worry, 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 second syllable. So that's where the R is in the middle and it's still sounded in the same way for all of those three. Okay, so now let's move on to look at the ones, the words where the R is not sounded in British English. And this is where it differs sometimes from American speakers and Canadian speakers. I'll try to demonstrate that. So if it's in the middle of a word, but um, the vowel sound is quite long sometimes. So with bark, the sound that a dog makes, bark, um, an American person might say bark, bark, uh, but a British person just says an R sound, an open R like this, R, bark, and we don't even try to do an R, R sound, it's just bark. So you've got the B and then an R sound and then the K sound at the end. So this R is not pronounced. It's just in the spelling, but it's not pronounced, okay? The same with this word, farm. So F and then R and then M, no R. So an American might say farm, uh, farm. <laughs> Um, it feels very strange for me to, to say, say it that way, but it's just in British English, farm, just open, an open vowel sound, ah, farm, like that. Okay, and then with this one, garden, garden, so just the ah sound again, garden, and this one, mark. Just R, M, R, and then K, mark, no R. This one, more, so with the OR, this is an OR, OR vowel sound. It's a different vowel sound, but it's still a long vowel sound, not a short vowel sound. R and OR are long vowel sounds. So more and for more or or you again it's a bit like r but it's or or so you push your lips forward again to get the or sound more but no r sound there okay and then this one similar normal 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 okay and this one, we're back to R again. Park, park, just an open R, and then the K, park. And then this one, this is an er uh sound, vowel sound, er, uh, er, uh, er, uh, like that, er. Uh. Um, work, work, erk. Uh, so no R, just the K sound at the end, work. Okay, good. And then finally, where the R comes at the end of a word, often words that end E-R and O-R, sometimes they're professions like baker, banker, doctor, farmer, or other words like mother, water. So it's just like uh, uh, uh at the end. It's um, a bit like that. Uh, if you're asking a, somebody what's going on, uh, uh, it's that sort of sound. Uh, so baker, uh, uh, baker, and banker, and Doctor, a uh, a uh, doctor, and far. We've got two here, haven't we? We've got the R, the farm, farmer, farmer. So the there are two R's in farmer, and both of them are silent. 
farmer. Okay. Mother. Uh, uh, uh. Mother. Mother. And water. Uh, like that. Water. 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 Okay. So, I hope that helps to clarify where the R is sounded and, and where it's silent. So that's the first half of the lesson and now we're going to go on to um, the second part with some sentences for you to practice on. Okay, so let's have a look at some practice sentences and see if you can decide which uh, words need to have the R sounded and which have the silent R. So, the first sentence, if you'd like to look at that before I say it. Okay, so, the baker ran to wrap a loaf of bread. Okay, so I've underlined the R, which is pronounced bread, wrap, ran, but baker is just a, uh, a, uh, a uh at the end. So no R there. The baker ran to wrap a loaf of bread. Okay. Let's have a look at the next one. So try to say this before I say it. Okay. So the bird, uh, uh, d. So no R there. That's a silent one. Drank, that one is pronounced. Water, uh, uh, so no sound there. From, that one's pronounced. The pond in the garden, not pronounced. So the bird drank water from the pond in the garden. Okay, right, next one. Try to say this before me. Okay, so we drove, that's pronounced, the car, just R, not pronounced, to the garage, pronounced, for, or, 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 so that's not pronounced, repair. Ah, so we've got repair, air, air. So that one isn't pronounced at the end. That one is, that one isn't. So it's repair like that open sound at the end repair okay we drove the car to the garage for repair okay next one you first Okay, so this cream, so that's pronounced cake, nice cream cake, is a treat, pronounced. Let's have some more, or, 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 so not pronounced. It's just an open or sound. This cream cake is a Treat, let's have some more. Okay, 
Next sentence, you first. Okay, so this orange, r, so that's pronounced orange. Drink is rather, so that one's pronounced, that one isn't, rather, rather, uh, uh, bitter, uh, that one's not pronounced. So this orange drink is rather bitter, okay? And finally, you first. Okay, so green grass is normally, normally, or, or, or. So that's an open vowel sound, no R. Normally, very, r, very, pronounced. Relaxing, pronounced. And restful, pronounced. Okay. Green grass is normally very relaxing and restful. Okay, so I hope that was fun and um, I hope that's helped you to work out when to pronounce the R and when not to pronounce it. So if you'd like to go to the website ingvid.com, there's a quiz there to test you on this one. And so thank you for watching and hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.